Good morning guys, it's Gypsy at the Paper Lion. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a special request by Sharon Cody all the way in Canada. Hey Sharon! As you guys might know, Sharon was our big winner for our first ever uh, giveaway and she finally received her package and she said that she loved the things that were sent to her so I'm glad about that. Yay! But anyway, this is going back into my old stock. First of all, how are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing well. Still been a lot, you know, really kind of stormy in here in Texas. So today the rain has let up a little bit. So I'm trying to get in here while it's kind of clear. My lighting might not be the best. So if it isn't, I apologize, but I can't control the storms. But anyway, I'm digging into some old stash, um, something that I did way when I first started doing journaling I came up with this um, little concept for a hidden like a, a paper clip and I call them fairy lanterns and I'll show you guys um, what they look like and at the end I'll grab a book and show you how they look inside of a book but these are I think they're super pretty but for these these are a little bit more on the advanced side so to speak um I don't know, it just kind of depends on whether you're familiar or not with jewelry making because this kind of goes off into the, um, it kind of crosses boundaries a little bit. So let me show you that, um, show you what we're going to need. Also in this stash, let me guys, let me know guys if you want to see how I did these cute, fun, um, stamped on linen um, hidden paper well they're really not two hidden paper clips but I thought they were really fun if you guys want to see a video on how I made those let me know uh, but I am going to be using these in an upcoming I got an idea a new idea for a journal and so I'm going to be using these in an upcoming journal or some of them at least well anyway I got my tea this morning guys I got my little cookies but for this tutorial what you're gonna need is some wire I recommend using at least 18 gauge um, I think this one yes this one's 18 gauge um, I don't have this wire anymore that's been used up long time ago but I've got this 18 uh, gauge I got this from Hobby Lot no actually I got this from a wholesale jewelry place that I um, shop at you're gonna need um, a hammer you're gonna need um, a block and you're gonna need with this one I use straws of course you're gonna need a little cutting tool you're gonna need your needle nose pliers or your round nose pliers I'm sorry and I'm gonna be using this um, this bail right here the step up bail you're gonna need some like a head pin so let's go ahead and get a couple of these out all of this stuff fell to the floor so it's got some cat hair into it in it and my my little girl she was so sweet she picked it she picked up every single piece for me and I tried to help her and she was like no I got it I got it so anyway we're going to use that um, two head pins and then of course you're going to need a few beads um, as you can see I have beads beads on here so let's you know what I forgot to bring is or I forgot to pull out my wire cutters but that's okay we may not need them okay and so we're gonna just grab a couple of beads out of here we also want to look for some little small ones for the end cap um, of course these won't be exactly the same as the original ones because it's been so long since I made those and I've got so many beads I'm not gonna go digging through all of them Oh this will work okay so we need two large for each one and one small so I'm gonna try to do two on camera with you guys just so you can kind of get the rhythm this is the rhythm of the night 
<laughs> okay, okay. Um, so basically what we're going to do, first step is going to be to choose your paper straw. Let's go with, let's do a rose and then let's do, let's do this pretty um, polka dot. So basically we're just going to cut a little bit and we don't want it to be, oh, this isn't even a head pin. What is this? Oh, out of all the head pins that I have in there, I chose the two pieces that were not head pins. Hmm. How funny. And like, if you wanted to add an extra dangle at the bottom, of course you could use, um, this eye pin. Actually, let's do one like that. And then we'll do the other one. We'll do one with a head pin and we'll do one with a dangle at the bottom. For that one, I probably really do need my wire cutters, but if it's unfinished, you guys, you know, you can just clip the ends. I'll probably end up needing something else. Let's see. Um, anyway, so <laughs> I'm rambling on, guys. Let's start by cutting a length of our um, paper straws. These can be as long and fancy as you want, but I've been kind of keeping them. Well, I, I kept mine a, a decent size. So there's really no particular measurement. As long as it can fit on your head pin with your beads, then you're good. I think on the original one, I used just the wire to thread it through. No, actually, I, that's a lie. There's a head pin there. This is, it's been a year since I made these things, guys, so bear with me. I'm going to take that. Oops. No, I lost the bead already. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to take that. And we're just layering it at this point. And then we're going to put another bead here. All right, so there we've got, we've got our body or our lamp. And we're just going to take our round nose plier and simply connect that. To make a loop okay and there's that and let's go ahead and do I'm gonna have to pull out another small little bead because I dropped one actually I'm gonna pull out two beads because I want to have a dangle on this one so that'll be for my little dangle and let's see there's a small bead there okay just going to load it up like we did on the last one. I mean, very, very simple. If you pre-cut all your things beforehand, you can pop through these pretty quickly. pretty good so so far we've got our two lanterns and then we're gonna come back and add this one to the bottom so let's see do I have a small piece of oh I can't believe I don't want to open this drawer because then it's right where the camera is so let's see if I have anything pre-made that I can hang off the bottom of here. Or let's just see if I have a shorter. Hmm. That one's kind of short. 
but I don't think it's short enough. I don't have any pre-made little dangles. Hmm. Um, do I have any charms close by? Let's see what I have over here. <laughs> I just got random stuff laying around, guys. Let's see what's in here. No, those are not. Aren't those cute, though? They're little uh, acorn earrings that I was playing around with. But they're not what I need. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What else do I have close by? Of course, I have nothing, guys, because I'm so unprepared. This always is not Let's see. Oh, here we go. Instead of a dangle. No, do I want to use that? Oh, uh, what do we have over here? Sorry, guys, I'm just rummaging through my stash really quick. How about we use a charm on the end of that that's something that's already got a little loop on it and we don't have to do anything else I don't have to get up from my desk to go rummaging around let's see do I have a okay if it's not gold <laughs> it'll be okay actually I have a little gold star that works all right now We've got to get it open and closed. And we're going to do that with the help of these two tools. I know they're not standard, the standard tools, but you got to learn to make it work. There we go. And we're going to loop this one down here. All right. And there we go. There's our little dangle on that one. Now, let's get to, you know what? <laughs> I am going to have to uh, get a wire cutter because I've got to cut the wire. <laughs> Durr. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Hopefully, the camera didn't shift too much. So, anyway, got my little wire clippers uh, here set those straws to the side now we're going to take our wire obviously and we're going to untwist that try to unbend that so we don't lose that part this one's very springy and it doesn't have a closure so we're going to try to hold on to that and I don't remember the exact measurements of how long I use the wire so I'm just going to um, kind of gauge it I don't think I have my ruler if I have my ruler then I'll try to see what we got here going to roughly cut them about the same size. This is roughly about what? Six inches? Okay. Let's see if we can wrap that back around there. There we go. And if you don't have um, this tool, this bail, you can simply wrap this around like um, a pencil or something a couple of times. So we're going to leave a little bit of length for this little swirl at the end. Well, actually, let's go ahead and do that first. All right, we're going to make that swirl like that. And then we're going to just come around here with this and start wrapping around this larger one. And 
and it doesn't have to be any specific like shape or whatever but you want to give it at least you know a few I think going around at least three times is good so once you wrap it around you've got something like that and now we're gonna pull this one up here to where now you have something like that see that and then we're gonna take this part we're gonna cut off a little bit of this and then we're gonna twist this around in the opposite direction because this is your this is what your uh, Lan lantern is going to hang off of. And we're not going to close it all the way just yet because we want to be able to have it open to put our lantern on. So let's do that one more time. We made a little loop. And then we are taking in the same direction. And we're going to wrap this around at least three times on this largest one. And as I said, it doesn't really matter if it gets a little bit out of shape because we're going to hammer this down anyway. Okay. So now we're back to a, a shape sort of like that. And then we're going to take this one and pull it on up into there to where you now have something like that. We're flipping it over. Actually, I probably should have left the tail on that one to hammer it. But let's go ahead and hammer this one. This, one, this might be easier for people who are just beginning. All right, so we're just going to take that and we're going to this part is going to be noisy so if you don't like noise go ahead and mute this and we're just flattening this out and we're just going to get it like back into shape a little bit as you can notice with these they do kind of, they tend to spread out, so they're not going to be like completely uniform. They're kind of just curly cute type things, okay? And then you still want them to be a little springy. So now that we got that one hammered, let's go ahead and hammer this other one. Let's try not to hit my fingers. So that one's already got its little tail on it. So now we're going to flip this around opposite. Cut off a little piece. And now we can go and make our little tail on this one. And we're not going to close it all the way just yet because we got to add our dangles. Okay. sure I got that right actually I brought the dangle a little bit closer last time so let's go ahead and let's clip this a little bit and let's bring the dangle a little bit closer to the body or not the but the, the little hook for the dangle okay so we're gonna end up with something that looks like that and we're going to be having the little dangle part to the right because of course that's the part that's going to stick out of the book all right so here we are so far and now we're just going to attach open that up a little bit Did 
get that even open. <laughs> Close that back up. And there's the first one down. How pretty is that? Okay. And then we're on the second one. We're just going to connect that in. And then close that loop up. And now that's closed and that's it now let me grab a book and show you guys how they look inside let's see if I have a book here it's just my little busy book but you'll get the idea of what it looks like once you put it into a book so the pages slide in between either of these so you can use it to, to, to gather two pages, or you can use it just for one. Like, you can take a couple. You can have it where that shows, or you can put it in this back one. So it's like that. They can be a little fiddly to work with. And there it is. That beautiful little fairy lantern paper clip. And of course, when you close your book, it looks like that hanging out. And let's try adding some others. different lengths or like different heights to see what kind of effect we can get like I say they are a little little fiddly once you once you get to using them but I think they give such a pretty little effect and then they can slide up and down as well and let's put a couple more We'll just do one more. Slide that one down a little bit. And see how many pages that holds? It's pretty flexible. You can get a lot of different pages in there if you need, if you want to. All right, guys. And that's what they look like on the outside of a journal. I think those are absolutely precious. Those are my fairy lantern uh, paper clips. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, welcome. Welcome back to my current subscribers. I appreciate every one of you guys. If you think you're new here and you think this is some content that you might like, you think somebody else might like it, share it. Become a subscriber. It's free. Hit the notification bell to be alerted when I make more videos because there's all kinds of things on this channel. You just never know what you're going to find. Until the next video, guys. Bye.